Hello friends. Many of my viewers ask a very important question. What is the perfect soil pH for plants? The answer to this question is not so simple, but I shall try to simplify this explanation and tell you what is the perfect or the ideal soil pH for most plants and also 10 organic or natural ways to soil amendment and make your soil acidic or to the desired level. All that is coming up. Let's begin with a simple explanation. I assume that most of us know what is pH and for people who want it more simplified, pH is just a number or a value ranging from 0 to 14. 7 that is the middle of the scale that is considered as the neutral pH and anything below 7 is called acidic or sour in layman's terms and anything above 7 is called alkaline or sweet. Without going into too much depth, we we'll come straight to the point. What is the perfect or the ideal or the desired soil pH for most plants? How will I measure this and how will I adjust the soil pH to this desired level? This value of ideal soil pH could really make a huge difference and an important step for those looking to grow bountiful gardens because most of the nutrient absorption at root level happens at this pH. You may be adding a lot of fertilizers, supplements like micronutrient powders and stuff like that regularly to your plant. But if it's not producing good results and you still have anemic plants, then you should suspect something wrong with soil pH. Either it's not favorable for your plant or the plant is unable to adapt to the pH changes. For most plants, the ideal pH has to be slightly acidic, like 6.5 plus or minus 0.2. But this does not mean that the plants cannot grow outside this range. Places with lots of vegetation and rain like the forests tend to produce acidic soils. Whereas places dry and arid zones like deserts are more likely to produce alkaline soils. Well now, how do I test the soil pH at home gardening level? Every hobby gardener must have this handy pH testing tool. It is not at all costly. Actually, there is a wide range of soil pH testing meters like uh, digital meters with varying costs. This one is actually inexpensive and does the job for me. You can purchase this from Amazon store. Now, how do I adjust my soil pH? If it's too alkaline or even neutral to achieve the ideal pH around 6.5? Or a better question to this is how to make soil more acidic, especially for acid loving plants. You can check out my video on the list of acid loving plants from a link at top right corner of this video and also from a description link. Here are the top 10 natural ways to make your soil acidic if it is alkaline and vice versa. The first and foremost is the rainwater. If it is a rainy season and if soil is neutral or alkaline, you need not do anything. Just check the soil pH after rains. Rain makes the soil acidic naturally. Then secondly, good compost in your soil. This is the basic requirement. At least 20 to 30% of your soil or potting mix should have a well decomposed manure like cow dung or horse dung or even leaf compost or wormy compost. This itself is actually sufficient to make your soil uh, attain the desired pH value. If you add compost to your soil now, you need to wait for at least a month or two to see the pH change because this is a gradual process. Then thirdly, vinegar. White vinegar, about 1 teaspoon per liter of water can be used to make the soil pH drop. Like uh, watering with this solution thoroughly once in a month or so is sufficient. Also, it's always better to check the soil pH before and after application. Then fourthly, coffee grounds or even tea waste. The tannic acid present in this will lower the pH of your soil slightly. You can watch a separate video on this topic from a link at top right corner of this video and also in the description. Then fifth one is lemon juice. Some even recommend adding 1 to 2 teaspoons of lemon juice per liter of water and watering with this solution once in a month. Then shredded pine barks or any evergreen tree barks if available can be used to mulch on the top layer of the soil to make your soil acidic. Then sphagnum peat moss is another remedy to lower your soil. You can see my separate video on this topic in my channel and a card link to this video. Then alum, chemically called potassium aluminium sulfate is a compound commonly used in a water purification process. 
This is available as a powdered or in crystal form. You can powder the crystals and use about 5 to 10 grams per litre of water and water your plants monthly ones. You can watch a separate video on alum in gardening for more details. Then chemical or commercial products containing elemental sulphur can also be used to lower the soil pH. Then lastly, if your soil is too acidic and you may want to raise the soil pH, then you can use wood ash as a natural remedy for this job. You can watch a detailed video on this topic from a card link that top right corner of this video and also from a description link. So there we have it folks, that was a short episode on soil pH and amendments. If you like the video, please click a thumbs up for me and also share this video and comment something below the video, right? Anything, at least some feedback, like a simple thank you or any suggestions to improve my videos or anything. Consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!